how to read a field report. If you get a printout from a patient and how to go through this printout and see the meanings of the different things. My talk will be concentrated mainly on the Humphrey field and another presentation I will cover the octopus. If you keep this word in mind, wonder, then you, you get a scheme to follow when reading the field report. W stands for what was done, A, accuracy of the things being done, N stands, is it normal or abnormal? D, you get any defective pattern do you see in this field? E, to evaluate compatible diseases, and R, to review the literature and see what you are thinking of, is it correct or not? So keep in mind this word wonder. We start by the first part, what was done? If you look to the field, you need to check the test area. Is it 60 degrees? Is it 30? Is it 24? Is it 10? Then which strategy was used? Is it a threshold? Is it a screening? Is it a fast test like we have in the Humphrey, the CETA, or in Octopus, we got the top strategy. So check first the area tested and the strategy used. Here, this is the printout of the Humphrey. If you look at the gray scale here, you can see we have a number here, 30. So this can be a 30 or 24 degrees test. This is the location of the blind spot. The blind spot is to the left side of the vertical. So this is a left eye. If you see this area, the numerical value area, again, is 30. So this is a 30 or 24 degrees test. And this is the blind spot being to the left side, so it's a left eye. What is the difference between the 30 and the 24 degrees? Actually, they both identical except the most peripheral ring. The location, the distance between any test location and the next one is six degrees. So we get here different six degrees, another six degrees. So from the vertical line, you get three degrees here and three degrees here. So we get this is three degrees. This is, I'm sorry. Okay, say, this is three degrees, this is nine from the vertical, this is 15, and so on. The 24 degrees is the same at the 30, except the outermost ring is not tested. Only these two points in the nasal part of the 30 ring is there, but the remaining have been omitted. They kept this only two points on the nasal because glaucoma is known to affect this area. M reducing the number of test points from 76 down to 45, this will mean a shorter test time. The problem with the static field, it takes a long time. So the patient start to lose concentration. So we're trying to get information in a quicker way. One of the things is we stop doing the 30 degrees and we shift doing the 24. The 24 will get this, almost the same information and we get it in a shorter time. Another test is the central 10 degrees. In this case, the difference between one location and the next location is only two degrees. The space between one test location and the next is two. In the 24 and in the 30, it was six degrees. It is important because this test gave us a better information. This is quite important if you are testing a patient with a macular lesion or you are testing a patient with an advanced glaucoma and most of the field has been affected and you want to get better information on the central area. This is one patient this is the printout of a patient, 24 degrees. As you can see here, this is the central 10 degrees area. I've told you between one location and the other is six degrees. So 
This is three degrees, this is nine degrees. As you can see in this field, most of the central areas affected almost everything. The same patient, we ask for him to do the 10 degrees. Here you can see the location and the next we get a difference of two degrees and you can see that this area is still functioning. The black dots are affected. In the 24 degrees, everything is affected. You don't illustrate this area seen here in the 10 degrees. So this is the idea of the 10 degrees that you are testing so many points close together so you get a better information. We don't resolve to this test except in advanced cases of glaucoma or if you get a case of a macular lesion to start with. Regarding the strategy, we get different strategies like the full threshold or the fast techniques like the CT or the screening. The full threshold or the standard technique, in this case, one test location we represent to this location five times the stimuli of different locations to determine the sensitivity of this location. So each point has been stimulated five times. This will end in a long examination time. First, the difference between one stimulus and next is in big steps, like four decibels, to determine the sensitivity in certain location. Then we start to recheck this area in two steps, decibel difference, to get a narrower zone, then one step difference on the stimuli. So this is a, a, a way to get things quicker. The first techniques that we are using now, in the Humphrey we got this, what's known as CETA, CETA stands for the Swedish Interactive Threshold Holding Algorithm. It found in the newer series of the Humphrey. This way of uh, examining, examination, it depends on the models of the visual field, whether the normal or abnormal. For example, all of us know normally the central area is more sensitive than the periphery. So this program, if it's, in, if, if it's testing the central area, will start by assuming that the sensitivity is high and the stimulus will be low. If it goes to the periphery, it will do the reverse. Again, in glaucoma, we know that the defects are common in the arcuate area. So if the patient is tested, the program will start to throw any stimulus in the germ area, low sensitivity. If the patient misses it, then the program, when examining the next point in the germ area, will do it with a low sensitivity. If the first is high, then the next will be test will be high. So it depends on some assumptions. That it's some programs, the program is going on in certain way, depending on the normal, and depending on the different patterns of damaging. Glaucoma, certain points say glaucoma affects the nasal point. So ongoing stimulating the nasal area will start by doing at low sensitivity. If it's affected, then the, the patient is glaucomatous, then the next point in the nasal will be low. So it depends on assumptions, okay? So it will be a quicker time. So it's used an artificial intelligence type of programming. It relies on guesses on the sensitivity available. We get two things or two programs of CETA. We get what's known as CETA standard and we get what's known as CETA fast. In CETA standard, the program will go on testing up to 90% of the points. If the assumption is okay in this 90%, then the remaining 10% will not be tested and the program will print it as if it was tested. This is the CETA standard. In the CETA, this, in the CETA fast, 
The program do the, thing, the same thing, but testing up to 80% of the points. He will go on testing 80%, and if the assumption is going on with certain pattern, then he will not test the remaining 20% and do the print out of the whole 100% locations. It was found that this CETA standard is comparable with the full strategy. The, the advantage is done in a short time, four, five minutes, six minutes, while the full strategy it is in 20 minutes. The problem was long duration test that the patient loses his concentration. Screening, here we get one stimulus, very strong, but the same intensity, and you present it all over the field. If the patient see it, then you get this mark, say a plus or a circle. If the patient doesn't see it, then you get this square and that the printout. All the dark squares mean blindness and the open squares or the open rings mean seeing an area. This is the screening. Sometimes you can ask the program to retest the blind areas again with another sensitivity. So in this printout, the plus signs mean it's a visible area. The squares, the dark squares, more depressed than the white squares. So we get three zone screening, and we get two zone screening. Screening, as it, the name, it's, it's value just to screen if there is a defect or not. But if you are dealing with a patient of glaucoma, you need numbers to deal with, to follow the patient, to classify the amount of damage. So screening is quite fast, but if you get defects, then you have to repeat the test with numbers. So this is the first point in wonder to check the test area and to check the strategy being done. 